So that is uh, those two things. So, and of course, this becomes very important for us because we have to decide if we are going to uh, adapt Buddhism to Australian society. We have to decide, well, what is the right way of doing this? What sort of things can we adapt? What are the things we can't? Because there are certain things which are so fundamental uh, to the Buddhist way of doing things that if you start adapting them, uh, you're actually throwing out the baby with the bathwater, so to speak. You're losing what Buddhism really is about. And of course, that will be a terrible thing to do. We can't afford to do that. And that is where the idea of original Buddhism comes back in. We have to know what it was that the Buddha actually taught very clearly. And then we can make a choice as to those things that can be adapted and those things which can't. So this is the significance and the importance of understanding the difference between original and traditional uh, Buddhism. And I will start off just talking very briefly about original Buddhism, what that actually means for me. Uh, and as I said before, basically original Buddhism is what happened to the Buddha on his night of awakening. That insight, that understanding he had at that time, that is what original Buddhism essentially is all about. So what happened after that? Well, hap what happened after that is that of course, the Buddha started teaching, uh, and his, in his teaching career, he gave a large number of discourses and talks to the monks, to the nuns, uh, to the laymen, to the laywomen, the four assemblies of Buddhism. And those, of course, are then what came to be understood as uh, uh, the original Buddhism, because that was directly from the word of the Buddha, and it was a consequence of his enlightenment experience. So that is what we have. That is essentially what original Buddhism is. Uh, 